Corey Donnell for Exeter TV, here to give you the latest on apps and services to keep up with the town, local fall events, and more. Check it out on this, the Exeter Bi-Weekly Report. Well, folks, you'll be wanting to mark your calendars because October 17th is Household Hazardous Waste Day. You must purchase tickets and register for a drop-off time in advance. Luckily, this is as easy as going on the town website and heading to Public Works. Act early to get your preferred time slot because there are only five time slots between 8 a.m. and 1 p.m each lasting an hour, and participation is currently limited to 75 tickets per hour. Please come wearing your masks. You will not need to leave your vehicle, but make sure that the materials being dropped off are easily accessible in places such as the trunk, the very back of the vehicle, or, as a last resort, the back seat. This is, of course, to maintain social distancing. The following wastes will not be accepted. Latex paint, alkaline batteries, electronics, gas cylinders, explosive materials, ammunition, radioactive materials, infectious and biological wastes, prescription medicines or syringes, esters, and unknown materials. More information is available on our website. And now I'm going to take it to Condra Boudreau from the Exeter Public Library to show you guys around all of the new renovations. Hi everyone, it's Condra from the Exeter Public Library here to share with you some up exciting updates to the renovation as well as some updated news to what's happening here at the library. So first off, the children's room has is coming along beautifully. The new programming room has been expanded and the cabinets were put in which we're very excited about. The parents room is also coming along beautifully too. Inside the main seating area and the main book area of the children's room, we have gotten the new cushions for our window seats, which is very exciting, as well as the framing around the windows as well. So it come in, it looks beautiful, and it seems like there's updates every single day. As well as, if you haven't seen it yet, we have a children's-sized bathroom down there now, and it is adorable. The other thing that's been happening this week has the new entrance has been moved, or is moving, slightly to the right of where it currently is, and they're laying the bricks this week to what's going to line our new front door, which is very exciting to see that happening. Also, the windows for our upstairs adult services book area have been installed, so the beautiful tall windows that will be overlooking Stringbridge and the river are there, and we're so excited to see them finally in place. As for a few updates from the library, we are very excited to announce that book groups will be coming back this October for all ages. You can sign up starting on October 1st, and pick up your books then on October 1st. The other exciting thing that's happened is interlibrary loans are back. So if you are looking for something that we may not have, come on in or give us a call and we can help you try and find it from another library throughout New Hampshire. We can't wait to see you back in the library and we're here to help you. And now a basic rundown on a new app that's going to help you stay connected with all things Exeter. Looking for new ways to interact with and be informed about what's going on around town? You may want to register for Exeter NH Alert by Smart 911 and Rave Mobile Safety. The official emergency notification system used by the Town of Exeter's emergency services to alert community residents during emergencies. You can register on the town website and set your preferences for what types of alerts you want to receive, such as weather, traffic, emergency, and more. Customize if you want to be notified by text, email, and or voice message. Or download the app Smart911. You can also download the My Exeter app to report various issues from potholes to issues with the town website. The app also has information on the select board, contact information for various town departments, and highlighted information about our parks and other public services. On the town website under Information Technology, you can find a detailed video where Exeter TV's Bob Lowacki provides an in-depth look at the app and its features. Exeter Parks and Recreation has got you covered for all things fall as they have recently dropped their Fall 2020 Programming Guide. Here's more. Be sure to check out the Exeter Park and Recreation's Fall 2020 Program Brochure, available on the town website. 
You can find information about adult programming and new after-school programs, including Arts and Crafts, Gym Time 2.0, Trail Exploration, Youth Sports Programs, and more. Don't miss out on this weekend's drive-in movie. This Saturday, September 26, get out of the house and enjoy Disney's The Princess and the Frog. The movie starts at 6.45, but parking begins at 5.30 at the Exeter High School. Pre-registration is required. Please call Exeter Parks and Recreation at 603-773-6151 or go online to exeternh.gov slash recreation. A fee of $15 per car covers the movie license and porta potty rental. Up next, we have a message from Blue Hawk Media about all of the programming they are making available on demand and on Channel 13. Blue Hawk Media is now streaming Exeter High School Sports on their YouTube page, Blue Hawk Media TV. You can catch replays throughout the week on Blue Hawk Media Cable Channel 13. Blue Hawk Media is also showing the latest school board meetings from all the SAU 16 communities and helping the communities stay up to date on school reopenings and more. Find the 2020 Convocation and Exeter Fire Department's safety instruction and tour videos playing on Blue Hawk Media Channel 13 or on demand at youtube.com slash c slash Blue Hawk Media TV. Sports, meetings, and more from SAU 16 and Blue Hawk Media Channel 13. Last Saturday, we met up with Team Executive Director Scott Ruckner at the Fall Equinox Festival, which featured various artists and performances. An unexpected guest to this performance were two bald eagles. Hey everybody, it's Scott Ruffner, director of TEAM. We're down here at beautiful Swayze Parkway, beautiful downtown Exeter in the backdrop. Uh, we're here for the 2020 TEAM Equinox Festival. A uh, beautiful fall day. Uh, we've got music it's on the stage right now. We've got four food vendors, 20 art vendors. We also have a singer-songwriter tent uh, right here in the parkway, so lots of choices. People are enjoying the music, socially distancing, wearing their masks. And uh, it's really a beautiful day. We want to thank the community for, um, for coming out and coming together during these uh, difficult times. But it's been a great day. And our local artists uh, are really struggling right now. And they appreciate all the support from the community that they, that they get. And uh, we would love to hear from people if you have any ideas of how we can keep the arts alive uh, during these times as we head into the fall and winter months. But again, thanks again for coming down to the 2020 Equinox Fest.
Thanks for watching, everyone. Our next episode will be October 9th. For now, I'll leave you with our Shots from the Sky segment brought to you by Morning Ariel and the Four Day Forecast. I'm Hillary Donnell, and this has been the Axeter Bi Weekly Report. Friday will be sunny with a high of 74 degrees and a low of 54 degrees. Saturday will be mostly sunny with a high of 79 degrees and a low of 60 degrees. Sunday will be partly cloudy with a high of 80 degrees and a low of 64 degrees. Monday will be cloudy with a high of 77 degrees and a low of 63 degrees.